Good evening and welcome to our debate discussing to what extent should social media companies be held responsible for purposely shifting public opinion. Social media collects data through tracking users' engagement using metrics, for example, likes or shares. Data brokers then use this information to create rich profiles to sell onto advertisers. They then proceed to enter a real-time bidding war to try to attract users' attention through tailored ads. Some efforts have been made to try and protect the public, such as the GDPR law of 2018. However, data is still being collected without users' knowledge, leading us to wonder, is this enough? How is it that I feel constantly monitored in the privacy of my own home? I no longer have the complete autonomy to live out my life to my own accord. Instead, I am being coerced by advertisements and propaganda that have been especially crafted to catch my attention, as social media companies sell my personal data. People love to talk about the need for more political education and transparency, but then if we try to use their platforms to do this, we criticise. Politicians are only trying to work within the infrastructure that already exists. If any ethical lines become blurred, that's the fault of social media companies. I've just returned from my walk, and did I hear that there was a politician discussing the people's right to personal freedom? Well, a friend of mine has something to say about that. He would define autonomy as the people's right to make decisions without outside interference, and the capacity to make those decisions based on our own reflections and independent mind. If democracy truly is the prevalence of the will of the people, how can we fail to conclude that this data collection does not undermine democracy? If it prevents people's ability to make independent choices, swaying their every belief without their consent, as CEO and founder of Facebook, I feel compelled to address recent scandals on data breaches in the news. Facebook was born innocently out of my dorm room. Then, as social media grew, it became the most lucrative asset in the world. How could I, a young entrepreneur, pass over the opportunity of participating in the most revolutionary political scheme? Advertisements have always been Facebook's way of rendering the app accessible to all, whilst also profiting off of it. Nevertheless, data has replaced oil as the world's leading commodity, and it was Facebook's intention as largest social conglomerate to become the new shell. However, what started as a legitimate, innovative partnership with data broker firms was then warped by the very people we were both working for. The politicians, who later instructed their campaign teams to send heinous propaganda to the public in which we had no part. If we're talking philosophy, I mean Aristotle himself called humans political animals, and now those animals have evolved to use social media, and we need to evolve with them. In the 2016 presidential election, one candidate was still relying on old media, and one was in the digital age. I'm sure you can guess who won. These dark posts provide our campaigns with vital funding. Trump TV raking in, what, $9 million in two hours. It fuels politics. These echo chambers that micro-targeting creates are the fabric of democracy. The world is full of tribes, it's in political parties, it's the newspaper we read, the people we talk to, it's everything. We're only following basic society. Sorry, but what is right for the people must also be right for the individual. If one person has their data and information collected, that of their peers is also. The collective good, the utilitarian principle, both dictate that these companies must be regulated in order to prevent a breakdown of our societal goodwill. I believe that social media is not solely at fault. It should be the government's responsibility to regulate them. We trust that those in authority are not allowing our personal information and privacy to be breached. For this to be achieved, there has to be more transparency and public education on data sharing, as well as regulations and stricter rules put into place. No matter your interests, it seems as though society will have to decide how valuable it holds the commitment to a transparent democracy against the concerns of large companies and politicians.